morning. Thursday at the time that I'm filming this and it is currently 5.08 I just got my Celsius we're about to have an amazing leg workout because I'm taking you guys through a morning in my life so today is a school day so I'm working out at home I used to go to the gym but I don't have a car at the moment that I can use so I'm not able to take myself to the gym which is totally fine we have been doing so many home workouts and I've been really enjoying it actually the gym is great and it has amazing machines like it really sets the vibe but I feel like home workouts are so underrated because they can be so effective and they're so fun so I've been doing a lot of home workouts. I'm gonna show you guys the home workouts that I'm doing. I'm not gonna film them all because obviously you can watch the YouTube video yourself. So I will have them linked down below the workouts that I do. And then I'll also show you guys on my phone. But that's what we're gonna be doing. We're doing a kind of hit glute focused at home weighted workout. We're gonna run about a mile and then I will pick up the camera when we're done. Mini home gym tour, ignore that. That's all like stuff that needs to be cleaned out, but essentially I just have my mat, I have this mirror, and then I also have a second one, and then I have a bench, we have some bars with different weights, and then I also have my dumbbells over here, and my dumbbells go up to 25, but honestly you guys, if you have 10 pound dumbbells, you're set. Like heavier, the better, but any form of resistance is amazing. So I've done so many years of working out with just 10 pounds and then I upgraded to 15, but the 20 and the 25 came very later in my fitness journey. So you definitely don't need all of these dumbbells to start your fitness journey at home. Just get your hands on some 10 pounds, maybe some 15s. You can go even lighter. I have seven pounds down here too, and that's amazing. Now that you have seen a little at home gym tour, let's get into the workout. I just finished my workout in my home gym. I won't lie, I procrastinated a little bit. I sat on my phone, kind of scrolled through TikTok, so it took a little bit longer than it usually would. Usually my home workout takes about 40 minutes. I'm gonna go run a mile. I'm just eating some quick carbs right now. For those of you who don't know, quick carbs or like simple carbs are very easy for your body to digest, so it just gives you energy like this. Whereas complex carbs like fruit, vegetables, oats, stuff like that, that's gonna take longer for your body to digest. It's better to eat those because 
Those are really good for your body. Before I go on my run, I'm gonna eat some simple carbs just to give my body that burst of energy because I'm starting to feel a little bit hungry. But usually I don't eat very much before my runs and I'm only going a mile. So I'm gonna snack on this, run a mile, and then we're gonna get ready. Also, my camera died, so sorry for the change in quality. And I don't know if I said this, but this is cereal. It's the Kashi Golin Crunch brand. So I'm just gonna have a little bit of this and then we're gonna go. Just got back from my run and I wanna take a second to show you guys this package that I got from Case Defy. So I got three cases, I'm so excited. If you guys don't know, I love Case Defy. I've literally always had a Case Defy case. They're seriously the best brand. Their cases are just so well designed. They have like these rubber covers on the sides of it. So when you drop your phone, it bounces and absorbs the impact. And you guys, I have dropped my phone so much, especially because I take it to the gym, I take it on my runs, like this phone has been through it. And look, it doesn't have any cracks, but it's such a good case, fully customizable. On the back of mine, it, it says work on you for you, which I customize, that's kind of like my motto. So I love their cases. We're gonna do a quick little unboxing. Okay, so the first case that I got, they just came out with their clear case collection. So I just got this plain clear case, which is so cute because I have little Polaroids that I like to take. And I love just like putting pictures in my phone case. So that one's super cute. Then the next one that we have, this one is probably my favorite. It's clear, but it also has quotes. And it's a reminder that everything happens for a reason. Don't question it all the time. Stop overthinking it. Stop trying to control the direction life is pushing you in. Just let it flow. Let yourself go. Don't be scared of the unknown or the uncomfortable. Take the leap, trust your gut, open your heart to all the possibilities that life wants to send you your way. It's only the beginning. So, so, so cute. And then the last case that I got is this clear one and it has palm trees on it. And then again, all of these are MagSafe, which is amazing because this is also from Case Defy actually. And you just put your phone on it. And it charges and I literally use this every single night it's my favorite thing ever so if you guys want one of those or one of their new clear case collections they actually did give me a code that you guys can use so if you guys use the code 15 Amelie D you'll get 15% off your order and not only does it help you but it also helps me so if you want to support me you can either use that code or the link in the description box I would not tell you to get anything that I don't believe in and seriously these are my favorite cases ever you should go run and buy one. Now that that little unboxing is out of the way, we're gonna go get ready. Luckily, I don't need to shower because I don't really sweat that much when I work out at home because my gym's really cold, so I'm not really like overheating or anything. And then obviously my run is like freezing. It's like 40 degrees outside. So not that sweaty, not gonna shower, but I am gonna do some light makeup, pick out a cute little outfit. Today I have some extra time because usually my school starts at 7.20, but today it starts at 8.30. I'm also gonna make some breakfast later, but we're gonna see. I'm not that hungry yet and I get out of school today at like 10 a.m. because it's like a half day I'll probably make like a small breakfast but nothing huge because I'm not that hungry but yeah and also it's 6 55 right now and I have to be ready for school at like 8 o'clock I actually lied my friends are picking me up at 7 45 and we're gonna go get some Starbucks before school so I only have 45 minutes to get ready so we're gonna have to speed run this a little bit but I am gonna make myself a mini yogurt bowl because I'm probably gonna get something else at Starbucks and then I'm also, like I said, getting out of school really early so I don't need like a huge breakfast. But this is my absolute favorite breakfast. It is a staple. This is Greek yogurt and you guys, look at the macros. In 90 calories, there is 18 grams of protein. That is insane. I'm just gonna like give you guys a little reference because I feel like sometimes people get fooled about protein because a lot of brands advertise themselves as high protein foods, but it's actually not that high of protein. So for reference, 
this cereal is called like a protein cereal it has nine grams of protein in 190 calories so that's actually not a very good ratio what i would consider a like good protein ratio to calories if you are someone that is tracking or just like being aware of that which i think is always good it's about one gram of protein per 10 calories and then let me see if i have a protein bar these protein bars are 190 calories for 20 grams of protein so this is pretty good but that just shows you how amazing greek yogurt is especially if you get the zero fat the protein bar is 190 calories whereas this greek yogurt is 90 calories for roughly the same amount of protein it's not something that you have to obsess over but it is something good to be aware of so i like to do this for breakfast and then i'll top it with some fruit i like to put some cinnamon in it and it's just so good so i'm gonna make that for some quick protein and then we're gonna get ready This is the finished product. I just topped it with some frozen blueberries and cinnamon. And then usually I would do this liquid stevia, but I'm actually out of it right now. So it's not gonna be the sweetest, but it's so good. It literally tastes like a dessert, you guys. And this bowl, I didn't measure it, so I'm not exactly sure, but my guess is at least over 20 grams of protein. So this is my like little mini breakfast because like I said, I'm gonna eat more later because I get out of school really early today. Okay, we're gonna do a mini little get ready with me and chit chat. I'm trying to find a little topic to talk about because basically I'm gonna be making like a what I wish I knew before I started working out video, like a whole dedicated one because a lot of you have been asking for that. But I wanna just talk about like one of the topics right now just to like, you know, give you a little sneak peek of what's coming. We're gonna talk about the quality of what you eat, especially because I'm calling it like a mini cut because it's not really like a huge like tracking, stressful cut. Like I'm starting early, just trying to drop fat a little bit. And I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about how I'm attaining that because it's really important to take a sustainable route when it comes to cutting because your body essentially adapts to maintaining its physique with what you fuel it. So sure, eating essentially nothing would reach your results because we know the only way to lose weight is in a calorie deficit. And if that deficit is huge or tiny, you're still gonna achieve the same results, okay? But the reason that you don't wanna eat too little is because your body then adapts to running off of that little food. So then in order to maintain that physique, you have to maintain how much you're eating. And obviously then we can go into a reverse diet, which helps speed your metabolism back up and lets you keep your physique. But if you are eating way too little, like a very, very steep calorie deficit, your body then adapts to running off of such little food and it'll actually slow down your metabolism. So the key is to do a small, gradual calorie deficit over a longer period of time so your metabolism doesn't slow down and so that you can maintain your physique, it's sustainable. And another part of this is the food that you are feeding yourself. So what this... What this means is if you cut out all of your favorite foods, all of your fun foods, like say you love ice cream, but you never touch ice cream during this cut, your body is not gonna be used to digesting that. So then the next time that you try to eat it, you're gonna be in so much pain. And honestly, this is something I wish I knew before I started my fitness journey and losing weight because I didn't do this well enough and now I'm pretty sensitive to dairy and I think that's partly why because I cut out dairy from my diet rather than just like decreasing it. So now I'm very sensitive to dairy. So I wish I had known that before starting my fitness journey. So that's something really to consider if you guys are trying to lose weight or cut or just honestly trying to better your diet don't cut out any food groups just reduce them and again it doesn't have to be a steep reduction but if these foods are super high calorie or you know just aren't very good for you you don't have to completely remove it because if it's your favorite food and you completely cut it out 
that's not going to be sustainable because it, you love it so much. So you have to find ways to reach your goals in a very sustainable way. So for me, on this mini cut, for example, I love frozen yogurt. My cut started on Monday and I went out for frozen yogurt on Tuesday. Instead of saying, nope, I'm not gonna go let myself have fun on Valentine's Day with Grant, I just got less frozen yogurt. So it's all about finding like food swaps or just eating smaller portions of these more high calorie or like higher fat foods. So you never have to cut anything out to achieve your fitness goals. It's all about the portion control and just the frequency of it. So I wish I had known not to cut out food groups as much as I did in the very beginning of my fitness journey because now it causes problems for me. That's just what I've learned and hopefully you guys don't make the same mistake as me. I just did some contour, blush, and highlight. These are the new makeup products I've been using. This is the concealer. It's Maybelline. I'm honestly not sure if I like this so I wouldn't quite recommend it to you guys. However, I do love these three products. This is the Rare Beauty Blush in the shade Believe. And then this is the Rare Beauty Contour Stick in the shade Happy Soul. I just got this. It's one of my new favorite products. And then this is from Merit Beauty. And it's like a highlight stick, which is nice because then you don't have to do as much blending. And I'm absolutely obsessed. So the last part of my little routine is mascara and eyebrows. Yeah, I just wanted to talk to you guys about how to take cutting, fat loss, anything like that in a more sustainable way because you don't want to deprive your body of certain food groups because then it will forget how to digest them. Then you're going to develop sensitivities. Keep in mind, I'm not a doctor. This is just what I've learned from my research and personal experience. If you guys know something that I don't please feel free to tell me, DM me, comment. I'm always looking to educate myself better in terms of health and fitness. So if you guys know something about this, feel free to let me know. But then the other part of taking cutting sustainably is the body that you are trying to achieve. If you're not doing it in a sustainable way, you're gonna gain the weight right back, okay? I promise you. Whether it's over a year, a month, two years, it'll come back if you can't sustain it. This is different if you're like a bodybuilder or something because obviously bodybuilder diets aren't sustainable. They reach a level of leanness that is not healthy to sustain all year round and that's part of the sport. So that's a different topic. But for just us, non-bodybuilders, you don't wanna take a route to achieve a body that's not sustainable because you're not gonna be able to keep it up. Going back to the example of eating too little, you cannot live off of a thousand calories for your entire life. So if you're trying to drop 10, 20, 50 pounds and you think that eating a thousand calories is gonna help you get that, I promise you it's not. Because let's just say hypothetically, you maintain that for a year. What happens after two years when your body metabolism just slows down or you just get tired of eating so little, being hungry all the time, not ever feeling satisfied? you're gonna gain the weight right back. So it's really important that whenever you're trying to do anything to your body, you are doing it in a healthy way. That's why it's so important to be sustainable. And same thing goes for workouts, okay? It's not just food. If you are putting yourself through a crazy amount of exercise, extreme sports aside, if you're training for a marathon or something that's different, but there are people that think that they have to walk 10 miles a day and do a two hour workout and eat like the bare minimum. That is not sustainable. If you can't keep that up constantly, that body that you get from it is not gonna be sustainable and you're just gonna get so burnt out. So it's all about consistency and sustainability because if you find a weekly workout split that you enjoy, that feels good to you, that you can stick to and helps you reach your goals, then you can maintain that, be consistent with that and maintain your body that comes from that. So. My makeup is done. That was my little chit chat about sustainability because you guys, I seriously cannot stress how important it is. And luckily I did educate myself when I was starting my fitness journey about the importance of sustainability and I never dealt with over-exercising or anything like that. But I do know a lot of people who do deal with over-exercising. And if you think that that might be you, I just want to stress the importance of not overworking yourself, allowing yourself rest, recovery, so that you can maintain your physique, 
so that you can maintain your workout routine and so that you can maintain your motivation or discipline. Makeup is done. Not sure what I'm gonna do with my hair. I might curl it. It's 7.25. I already put my case by case on because I'm literally obsessed with it. Um, I do have to pick out my outfit. My friend should be here in about 20 minutes. So I will pick up the camera when I have my outfit on. It is 7.42. My friends are coming at 7.45. This is the finished outfit. I'm wearing this cream puffer vest with these really cute asymmetric jeans. These are from Princess Polly. And then I'm just wearing this black long sleeve. And I'm sorry, I forget where it's from. But I curled my hair. I need to let it kind of like settle down a bit because it's still like kind of crazy. But this is the outfit of the day. Obviously, I'm not going to wear my Uggs with them. I'm probably going to wear my white Converse. I just didn't feel like changing. But before I end off today's vlog, I want to show you guys this super cute calendar I have. It's from the You Are a Badass brand, which is actually a really good self-help book that you should definitely read if you haven't read it already. But every day, there's like a new quote. So this was yesterday's. And then today's is good, clear boundaries are a gift to everyone. Resentment, exhaustion, guilt, obligation, and passive aggressiveness are gifts to no one. I just think it's really cute to have like a little reminder like that every single day of the year and it also helps me obviously remember what day it is. But I'm going to end off today's video here so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing a morning in my life, a little at home workout, and then also a little talk about being sustainable with fitness and adapting it to your lifestyle. So with that, I want to remind you guys, please follow all of my other social media platforms. I have Instagram, TikTok, and Pinterest. It is Amelie Desai and Fit W Amelie. And I post lots of health, fitness, fashion related content. I'm super, super active over there. My DMs are always open. I love hearing from you guys. So please feel free to reach out. And with that, I will see you guys in the next one.